What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of Songs of the Week. You guys know how this works. I'm going to give you my five songs. Sean's going to give you his. We do not have a together song this week, so it's a more normal episode. And let's get it on with my first song of the week. My first song this week is Jerry Sprunger by Tory Lanez with T-Pain. For this week's Story Lane Song of the Week, um, we're throwing it back to one of the songs off of Chick's Tape, I think five. Um, but the first so time I heard this song, I honestly thought it was fantastic. There's a really great beat here, and the chemistry between Tory Lanez and T-Pain is honestly really fantastic. I can't believe I'm talking about T-Pain in Songs of the Week, but here we are. This song is phenomenal, super catchy, super great beat. Would definitely recommend you check it out. Another absolute banger from Tory. My first song this week is Country for California by Thomas Rhett. Um, I talked about one of his other songs in here when his album first came out, uh, but just because of other songs that I just liked more and, and came out more recently, that's why I haven't talked about any other ones on this album. This is probably my second favorite on the album from uh, from the ones that I haven't heard so far. Um, it, it isn't as quick, but I do like the pacing of it, um, and Thomas has some great vocals. I'm a realist and an optimist, but I swear to you, Song this week is All You Are Is History by State Champs. This song came on the other day, and I was stunned that this song hadn't been talked about in Songs of the Week. This is one of my absolute favorite songs of all time by any artist. I fucking love this song, so I can't believe that I hadn't covered it yet, to be honest with you. But it's fantastic. Um, I fucking adore this song. Um... Uh, the, the, the intro that you just heard hooks you in right from the start, and when you it gets going, it just really goes, and this chorus is so catchy. I Every time state I've seen State Champs live, which is a bunch, Sean and I have seen them together a bunch of times, uh, they play this song, and it always just goes so hard live. This song is, I cannot say enough good things about it. We've already talked about it in our video where we ranked every song from State Champs, and I gave it a lot of praise there, so I'm going to save your time. I don't want to spoil exactly how high I had it, but it was very high. I could keep going, but this song is phenomenal. Be sure to check it out in my second song of the week. My second song this week is Knowing You by Kenny Chesney. Uh, I think this might be Brett's favorite combo of song. It's slow and it's a country song, so Brett's going to love it when he hears that clip. Um, but I've always been a fan of Kenny Chesney. I haven't really listened to a ton of his songs outside of the hits, I'm going to be honest. Um, but, uh, but all of the hits are good. He has an entire concert full of hits. Um, this one's on, I think, his latest album. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really looked far into it. Um, but I heard there, heard this one in the car, um, and I and honestly really enjoyed it because I'm like, oh, I haven't heard Kenny Chesney in a long time. And he never really disappoints. He never really fails. I'm starting to sleep up on my lip when you say my name. I keep it up. My third song this week is Some Like It Hot by Chrissy Costanza. For some reason, she released her EP on Tuesday, but that's what she did. So her debut EP came out this Tuesday. Uh, and I mean, obviously, it's short. It's an EP. It's only seven songs. We'd heard half of them before, but this song is really good. And don't get me wrong, I like the others as well. This is just my favorite of the new ones. Um, you might be seeing me talk about any a different one in a later songs of the week. But this song sounds to me like the most against the current like song off of this EP, and that's probably why I gravitate towards it. It's a little more catchy, pop punk kind of instrumentation, where some of the other ones are a little slower. Uh, there's one that incorporates some trap elements, which I do really enjoy, don't get me wrong. I really like this EP, but this song is super good, super catchy. If you are a fan of Against the Current, obviously check this one out, because it's Chrissy Costanza, the lead singer. Um, but yeah, if you like pop-pop music in general, you probably will enjoy it, so be sure to give it a listen, and this is a great song, and my third song of the week.
My third song this week is Clarity by John Mayer. Um, I was going through some of his discography this week and last week um, just because I was because I hadn't really heard anything other than Continuum and then Battle Studies and um, some of the stuff on on uh, on Born and Raised and I wanted to hear the rest of it. Um, so I listened to the first album. Um, Room for Squares, and then this is on the second, second album, um, and I really enjoyed it. It's really just a John Mayer jam song that has some lyrics attached to it, um, but I love his guitar work. I think his voice sounds fantastic, so if you like John Mayer, you should definitely check him out. Um, I am going to do an artist ranking of him at some point. Um, it's more of just finding the time to do it. That girl is vicious, she's vicious, got venom in her kisses, she's wicked, she's wicked, you're somehow so delicious, and I love how she devours me, just might make her my missus, she's vicious, she's vicious, got venom in her kisses, she's a little bit twisted, little bit wild, little bit fucked up, that's my style, my fourth song this week is Vicious by Bones. So this song was actually in my Discover Weekly and just missed the cut last week for Songs of the Week. And I love this song, honestly. I don't know who Bones is. Apparently, he's relatively popular. He has 1.5 million listeners on Spotify. Uh, but this song is really good. I lo- I'm a sucker for an opening guitar riff. And this song has a phenomenal one that just brings you in with a bang and gets you on board right from the start. It's super catchy when it picks up. I love the guitars here all throughout the song. And honestly, I just can't help but singing along. It instantly became a favorite of mine. Um, and yeah, it's a banger. Be sure to check this one out if you haven't heard of it. Um, I haven't heard of Bones, so maybe show me. Maybe he has more songs. Who knows? But this one's really good. Um, and my fourth song of the week. My fourth song this week is That's Not How This Works by Charlie Puth featuring Dan and Jay. Um, So I went through Charlie Puth's discography in the summertime when I was coming home from um, Italy. And I would just kind of found a lot of his music that I hadn't found before. Um, And this was one of the songs like I've heard before, but like I hadn't really like given it like proper listen to. Um, And I really enjoy it. I think Dan and Jay work really well with him. Um, please check out my Dan and Shay video that that came out on Sunday. So please definitely make sure to do that. That was really, really fun. Um, but, um, I love Charlie Puth. I think his voice is incredible. Um, and I also can't wait for his new album that is coming out. Um, so, uh, be on the lookout for that. Hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later. So that way we can do an artist ranking of him. Um, my fifth and final song this week is ATTN or Attention by Beartooth. So I put a Beartooth song in here originally, like for one of the uh, earlier songs of the week. I don't remember which one. Um, and I really liked that song and I really like this one. I guess this is a deluxe version of whatever album they had released last, which was the one from the the other song that from theirs that I had talked about. What was the name of that song? Uh, Riptide. So the album was The Surface, and this is the deluxe edition from it. The song's phenomenal. I don't know how this didn't make it the original version. It's super catchy, got a great hook. Their singer sounds great, and I really, really cannot recommend this enough. An absolute banger from Beartooth. Great song. Be sure to check this one out. My fifth song this week is Love and Company by The Home Team and Intervals. Um, I talked about these guys about a couple weeks ago. I think it was probably a month ago at this point. Um, But um, I really like the song. I think this might be my favorite Home Team song. I'm not entirely sure. If it's not my favorite one, it's definitely one of them. Um, I like how catchy it is, how fast it is. The chorus is really, really nice. Um, Intervals has a nice second verse as well. Um, It just comes together really nicely.
That is going to wrap up Songs of the Week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please be sure to check out the Dan and Shay video that came out on Sunday. Um, and then you guys will see a Together artist from us in two weeks. Um, but that's all for now. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.